Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm hoping everyone is able to join me tonight. I have lots of fun things to share with you, lots of fun things to show you. We're going to create some really, really cool backgrounds tonight, so I'll wait a few moments. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Robin. Hello, Pamela. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, Penny. Hello, Elizabeth. Everyone is um, coming in quick tonight. Hello, Katina. Hello, Maria. Hello, Alexandra or Alexandra. Hello, Kim. Hello, Ellen. Hello, Shannon. Um, Katina, did I see that you are joining us for the Create Your Own Ending event today? Good, Katina. Oh, I can't wait. I just saw the roster this evening, and I said, that is a new name on the roster. So I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about that. Aaron, we can't wait for you to come back to the straw on June 15th. <laughs> Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Maria. Hello, Tracy. Hello, Kelly. Hello, everyone. So, yeah. So, I'm excited because that means that we literally have two spots left. That's it. Two spots left for the event. And we just finalized all of the classes today. Uh, final finalized all the classes today. We're starting. We're going to start getting the kits together and things like that. And I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really excited, especially with some of the things that you're going to get. Uh, okay, Kara. Some of the things that you're going to get in the class or in the classes, I should say. So I'm really, really excited about that. I think it's going to be great. So let's just jump right into it. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Stop everything. I have to go grab. I think I brought the pin home. Hold on. Because I want to show you how big this pin is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I did bring it home. I did, I did. I thought I put it in my bag, but sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget. But I want to show you. I want to show you the size of this pen. It is actually almost the size of the stamp. <laughs> so, and I just love the detail. I love the detail. So let's, it has two backers. Anytime it has two backers, you can generally assume that it's going to be a $14.99-er, meaning that it's a $14.99 pin, uh, and that just means it's a really big pin. And look at all these, look at all the detail on it. Oh, I just love this pin so much. So this is what the stamped image looks like. And this is the pin. I mean, look, it's almost the exact same size. Look at how big this pin is. And the pins are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger every box. And, I'll, and I can tell you, I mean, the, the real honest truth is that we, we did smaller pins back in the day because we were doing less pins. So since we were doing less, we had to do smaller because that's what we could afford. Now, luckily, we're doing a lot more pins. So since we're doing so many more, uh, now we can do them in a much bigger size. And like, well, I know, look at his tongue. So now we can do them much, much bigger. I mean, that's this is a huge pin. And it's heavy, too. It's just, oh, it does kind of remind me of Finding Nemo. So that's that one. I had to bring mine home because I have to put it on my pin board, obviously. So I'm going to set that right there until I put it on my... Until I put it on my... Pin board. Okay. And he has rainbow beads on. 
Oh yeah, that's his that's his little shell. That's his little shell. His little shell's a rainbow. I love it. All right, so let's put that to the side. Uh, because I have lots of stuff to share with you tonight. So I don't know if you guys um I don't know if you guys can see. Um oh, that would be a really good idea, Carolyn. Um, we do not make them in-house. No, 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 no. We don't have the we do not have the machinery to do that. Christopher, can people on Facebook see what we type here on YouTube? No, they can. Well, they can and they can't. Sometimes it sends it over and sometimes it doesn't. Not sure why it does or why it doesn't. So I'm not sure if you've been on BrutusRenault.com today, but I have been a designing fool, and we're just going to get down to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> we're just going to get right down to the nitty-gritty, shall we? Uh, so first of all, we are going to be using the Pink and Men, Pink and Main brush tonight, and uh, I had something made to go with the Pink and Main brush. We had them manufactured months and months ago, but uh, actually when we got the Pink and Main brushes, but because of the Rovid 16, uh, we were not, we did not get them um, as quickly as we wanted to, but now we have them. So now we have the brush cleansing pad is what we're calling them, or the cleaning pad. Uh, and it, this one, and I'll show you whenever I use it. The reason I designed it this way is I wanted there to be, so this is an ergonomic thing, right? So I'm promoting this ergonomic thing. So I wanted to make sure that you had something to hold on to uh, when you're cleaning out your brush. And I'm going to demo this for you tonight. But also, I love that there is, hello, Donna, that this is also a suction cup. So if you aren't great at holding things, you can suction cup it down to your table and just go like that. And that's not going to go anywhere. This isn't going to go anywhere. And it will clean out your brushes. So I made it two different ways. So it has a suction cup on the back, but also I made it so that, do you see how I made it so that your fingers will fit right in here? So there you go. You can fit your fingers right in there and you can hold it really, really well. So there's two ways. If you have dexterity issues, um, you can plop it right down on the table and it's not going to go anywhere. Or you can hold it in your hand like this, hold it in your hand like this and with a brush. Now, again, this was supposed to be uh, supposed to get here a long time ago. It did not. <laughs> this was like two two months in the making, uh, but now you can grab one. Also, before we get into the stencils, I promised you replacement tips for these. These are those are now available. So if you guys aren't familiar, this little guy just comes right off the top. See that there? So this is a little screw top. See that? And this just screws in. We now have. Um, Oh, that would that would work for your makeup brushes too, Nancy. Absolutely. So these are available now as well. I would suggest probably getting one or two or getting two or three of these, uh, just because I have a feeling they're going to sell very very quickly because they are universal. They are universal, and this will go. Uh, this will fit on top of there as well. But yeah, this is we've been using this for the past couple of days and trying it out, and I love it. It just works so 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 well. And, of course, it's black because it's either black or orange here at Brutus Monroe. All right. So let's get into let's get into the stencil. So let's do streamline or slimline, excuse me, first because uh, that is uh, – those have been the hottest trend right now. So let's talk about the brand-new slimline stencils, and we're going to use some of them tonight. So let me put this aside. The very first one that we have is called Devereaux. Can anyone guess why this is called Devereaux? Anyone out there? I hope someone gets it. It'll be really exciting. And I'm drinking out of my beautiful Starbucks cup that my sister got me. Isn't it pretty? She said, I'm so not talking to you. Yes, because of the Golden Girls. If you remember, which The Golden Girls is one of my favorite shows, and also my sister's favorite shows, this is the looks just like the wallpaper in Blanche's bedroom. <laughs> and I love Blanche. I love Blanche Devereaux. I think she's just a hoot and a holler. So this looks just like the uh, this looks just like the wallpaper in her bedroom. And I'm going to show you how to do this on 
Yeah, isn't it pretty? She got it for me. It's one of the Pride Cups this year. It's just, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use this on a colored piece of cardstock. Um, hello, Steph, on a, a piece of colored cardstock. So it's like, it'll be like reverse. And I'll show you, um, I brought home, actually, a couple pieces of colored cardstock, but one of them, hi, Anne. One of the colors I brought home that I thought would be really cool with this is our new, well, one of our newer colors. It's not super new anymore. And this is the key lime color. So we're going to use that tonight. Then uh, I had to do, and now again, a lot of these, a lot of these I just, I designed for myself and I really hope that you would like them. So I hope you do <laughs> because I really made most of them for myself and just hope that you guys would like them. He Hello, Miss Melanie Monroe. Uh, and this one is called Sea Skin, and I called this Sea Skin because there are so many different fish and aquatic life out there uh, that this is what their skin looks like. Um, it has scales. So I called it Sea Skin. You can use this for, and it's a little bit off-center. There we go. Uh, this can be used for scales. Uh, it can be used for a mermaid tail. It can be used for... Um, and yes, we will probably, by the end of this year, um, we just did a, a product study. We'll probably have close to, ooh, I'd say by the end of this year, we'll probably have, hmm, I want to say probably like 112 of these, probably about 112 different varieties. And it's great because we make them in-house. So if, they, if it's something you guys don't like or something that doesn't do well, there's not a ton of waste. Uh, we just move on to another one. We already we just move on to another one. So yeah, we'll have we'll have a lot of these. We will have uh, a lot of these types of stencils. So this one is called Sea Skin, and then uh, probably my favorite, and I don't know, it's just just something about this stencil that I just love so much. Um, and this one is called Upstream, and there's just something about this with the new stamps that we're releasing, and you probably have seen a couple of them already that this is just going to look so cool on the background. Um, we sure will, and you're going to see them coming to Brutus and Rowe very, very soon. You're going to see protective sleeves for these probably, I'd say probably in about two weeks. And you are, you know uh, exactly what I'm up to. <laughs> you know exactly what my trickery is. Yeah, you should see these in about two weeks. Uh, so this is the upstream and I don't know, there's just something about this. It's just so cool. I mean, it's just, it's just so fun. So I love the fishies. Okay. So now speaking of fishies, you know, I love a good segue. Let's talk about the six by six stencils. So I know that you obviously have <laughs> like 10 orders almost ready for pickup. That's okay, Michelle. Listen, I'm not, if you, if you want 11, I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> So speaking of fishies, I, I did some six by six stencils as well, and you will see some um, you will see some of the uh, some simple blends coming too. Because I don't worry, we didn't forget about the simple blends, and I know you guys love them. I think we'll have a couple of those coming out next week. Uh, so this is the school of fish, and there's just something about this one too. I don't know what it is. And I, I mean, I just love it so much. It's just so cool. Um, I know. Don't you love the size? It's real. It's really great, and isn't it? So this one is the school of fish, and I just love. It's it's basically. I mean, what's the best way to explain it? It's basically like an up view or a downward view. I guess you could say of a school of fish and it's just there's just something that's so cool and so different oh yeah kind of i guess does look like a flower um that looks like a school of fish i mean it's just so it's just so cool and so different and so unique and i was just so excited um after uh because this one took quite a while you cannot sanitize a fish tabitha that is correct um but i was playing around with uh, this idea, and I was like, "Hmm, how do I, how do I make a school of fish?" But I want a school of fish that just looks really, really, really cool and really, really different. Um, and this was it. I was like, "This is, this is just, it's just so different and so fun, and I just love it." And it could be, you know, a school of fish. It could be koi fish. 
Um, it could be whatever. I mean, obviously, I always say creator running. It could be whatever you want it to be. You know what I mean? All right, so let's move that one over to the side. Then we have the anchors. And this was something that I desperately wanted um, – Desperately wanted uh, for a long time, but it just didn't make sense to release it until we had like a C release. Hello, Mimi. Uh, and this is um, one that I absolutely love because we have a paper pad uh, that matches this really, really, really well. Um, and it's just, it's just really, really cool. And I love the anchors because again, anchors are just cool. Yes, anchors away. It's just, anchors just make sense. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. <laughs> Don't pout, Linda. I'm sorry. Uh, then we have High Tide. And this is one that I really, really want to do because we don't have really any wave stencils. Design question for you. Do you look at what is on the market so yours are different or just wing it? A little bit of both, Terry. Uh, I don't pay attention a lot to what is on the market just for the simple fact that I don't want to get too much inspiration from what's on the market. I do a lot of winging it. Um, but I like to design in a collection, meaning I like to think about what I want to design, and then I try to design that item in every category, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> so this one is called High Tide. We didn't have any waves. Uh, we had, you know, a couple of wave-like things, but I wanted something that was super, super wave-like. Wave and this one is... I don't care. I just told my husband. He said you could go in tomorrow. <laughs> you can come right on. Come right on. Come right on in. Has so this is the wave. Uh, it's actually called High Tide. And then last but not least, uh, another one that I've always wanted, and I've all actually I think I'm just going to listen from now on. <laughs> Kara. Uh, so this one I really really love uh, because. Again, it's a stencil that I've wanted for a long time, but it had to make sense for when I released it. And now, of course, it does make sense. And here is... Um, it is not, Debbie. The best way to tell what is in the insp included in the inspiration box is the... I'm not going to get a job. Is the uh, bottom right-hand corner... Of all of the items, if it is in an inspiration box or it's included in the inspiration box, it will have a little box in the right-hand corner that has hearts coming out of it. So, no, these ones are not in the box. But there is a stencil in the box. There is. And I can't tell you. I can't tell you what the stencil looks like, but you will see it very soon. And it's really, really cool. So, this is the dolphins. And I love it. Again, I mean, who doesn't love dolphins? I think the dolphins are so pretty and so cool. And again, just a really, really awesome stencil to have. So da, 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 let's get started. So what we're going to do, it makes sense now because it has a porpoise. John, you're speaking my language. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> you're speaking my language, John. John's been hanging out with me for too long. Did you just hear what he said? That was the pun of the century. The pun of the century. Did you hear? I've never been prouder. I have never been prouder. Okay, so I have these pieces that are, I believe are already cut down. I'm not sure exactly if they are cut down perfectly, but we'll find out in a second. So this is, we're going to start first with the uh, fish skin. And I love this packaging. Oh, I just love this packaging. Uh, Christopher, you had to go there, right? What's next? Unicorns or masks? You can let me hear. Um... It's not unicorns. Uh, these are new slimline stencils. It's not unicorns next month. It's all about, yes, uh, no, it's seven new stencils tonight, Ann. Um, oh, I have to cut this one down. Um, next month is all about florals. All about beautiful florals next month, my Kara. Beautiful florals, but you will see unicorns coming soon. You will see them soon. I can't tell you when. But I can tell you it's soon. All right, so we cut that one down. Probably let me make sure I cut this one down to three and a half. Okay. Actually, we're probably going to do... Hmm. We'll probably only do one this way. I mean, we'll see in a second. Um, they should all... I hope they're all on the site. If not, there's two... There are two... Um, 
There are on the site, there are two sets that is makes it easier. I'm sorry, Belinda. I'm sorry. I just love, I just love, um, I love making, I love designing them. Like the thing is, so the fun, to tell you, to be completely 100% transparent with you, I was started designing them um, the other day. Sorry, I'm just taking, I'm just taking some pixie spray and spraying the back of this because we're going to do some ink blending. Um, so I, So I started designing the other day, and I was only going to do, I think I was going to do, I don't know. I was like, all right, maybe I'll do like two stencils. And then I just started designing, and I couldn't stop. Oh, we sure will. Not only that, but we're going to have so many new things at the Create Your Own Ending event. New products, new, it's going to be really cool. Don't you worry, we will be fully stocked. Fully, fully stocked. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kara. I so, I so, so, so appreciate that you guys love these products. I really do. I really do. I really, really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some ink blending. So let me grab... <laughs> I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. Uh, do I have? I have. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, I know I had a piece of scrap paper. Well, hmm. I have to bring home the new. We have a new size. I don't think I've told you guys this yet, but surprise, we have a new size of the media mat coming. And. Uh, once the, oh, here's my scrap paper. We have a new size of the media mat coming, uh, for this type of thing so that you can just kind of take it off and on. Glad I ordered the extra horse for my sense. I was figuring it would take me a lot of 40, but at this rate, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to be listening, but also playing a design space game show. Let's just before. That's okay, Linda. Hello, Gypsalina. Gyps, I did get your message and I have not set it up yet. I know you're going to be mad at me. You're going to be like, Christopher, what are you doing? Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on getting the internet set back up. It'll probably, probably, tomorrow might be the day because we have a smaller staff tomorrow. So tomorrow might be the day. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just tape this down just so it doesn't move. Okay. And I'm going to turn it sideways. I've really been into, I don't know why, something about, um, Something about blending sideways because I've been really into that lately. I don't know. Um, yes, she is. Dee Dee is from Canada. Oh, the paper is eight and um, eight and a half by three and a half. Eight and a half by three and a half. All right, so let's use some of Simon's inks. Right, let's see here. So I want to do some really pretty, some really pretty underwater colors. So we're going to do. Clear skies over zealous, over the moon, and I think we'll just do those three. What do you think? I think it'll be those three. Oh, sorry, Kara. I just saw. It. I just saw what you said. All right. So we're gonna start out with sea skin. Oh, good. Yeah. Tomorrow, Gyps, please, because we're gonna. I need. We really need to get it together tomorrow. All right, so always start lightest to dark. So I'm going to start with over the moon, then to overzealous, then to clear skies. And let me grab my blending brush. And we're going to start with over the moon. Okay. Woo. We're already on SOS status on these, if you can believe it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, we should be good for a little while, though. I mean, SOS status means we have, like, 500 left. Okay. So, again, we're going to start with the... Uh, I'm starting with the over the moon, okay? Um, Gyps, no, I believe we have two more to pick. 
And I'm going to do this blending a little bit differently. I'm going to blend up the side on this one. And that's because with scales or with with any type of scales, fish scales or, and I mean, on dragon scales or um, any type of, you know, animal that has a scale, uh, generally it's not an even blend straight across. So I'm going to show you what I mean here in just a second. Uh, so I just went in and I blended and blended and blended. And I am using the um, I am using the marker, uh, the marker stock, the um, Perfect Blend marker paper. Just as a heads up, if the uh, smaller size of the Perfect Blend marker stock sells out soon, uh, really soon, we are going to get more. We had a little flood today at the store. Nothing big. Nothing that um, nothing that we couldn't handle. Everything is fine, but. Uh, we lost uh, some of we lost some of that beautiful paper, unfortunately, in the little flooding today. So uh, we'll be getting more. In, don't worry, we'll be getting. Um, thanks, Pamela. It's my favorite, isn't it? Great. I love it. I love it. I love it. It works so well with everything that you're. Uh, pretty much, it works really well with anything that really you um. Anything that you need to blend. Whether it's colored pencils, whether it is, um, I mean, it's colored pencils, it's markers, inks. Hello, Kim. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Kim. Did we miss you? Ooh, broken elbow. Ooh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, we had an eensy teensy little flood, but nothing, nothing, you know, nothing that we can't, uh, we can't get over and can't fix. But I was, it's actually very odd how I found it. I was getting ready to leave because I have, um, I brought home, I was thinking of which I forgot to show you those too. I have them though. Um, I brought home three of the other monthly subscription items and I went to the back to get them because they're kept in big bins before they get sent out to everybody. And I went to the back to look for them, to grab them. And when I got back there, I was like, wait a second. Where did all this water come from? And I mean, there was a, a good amount of water. Oddly enough, and this is actually very strange uh, that this happened this way, but uh, Courtney and Shane are both uh, working from home tomorrow. Well, Courtney has a Courtney has an appointment tomorrow, so she'll be half working from home, half uh, at the appointment. But Shane's working from home tomorrow, um, and uh, so is Lisa. So. Uh, it's the first time that they're all working because they all have like appointments and stuff. So, um, cause normally being, being working from home on a Friday is a no, no, cause it's payday and blah, blah, blah. But regardless, they're all working from home. So I went to the back and oddly enough, because of that, they had gotten all of the orders out of the fulfillment area, which long story short is unusual. Usually all of the orders are not out of the fulfillment area, uh, because there could be like 250 orders. So, um, we split up, you know, with printing the labels and regardless, they were all out of the fulfillment later, which was crazy. Um, cause that's not normal. And if they weren't out of the fulfillment area, they would have been soaked, completely soaked. Um, I mean, completely soaked and it would have been really, really bad, but we were very fortunate that it was all out of, uh, all out of that room. So very, very odd, not normal for it to be out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and lift this up and take a look, shall we? Here we go. Ready? Oh my goodness gracious, is that beautiful? Oh my word. It just makes just these slimline cards just make me so happy. Is it that so cool? Oh, I just think it's so cool. Don't you? I think it's really cool. I mean, I hope you think it's cool because I think it's really, really cool. And there's what that looks like. <laughs> That's your daughter, right? It is overrated. Look at that. Just so easy, so simple, right? So simple. So, so simple. All right, so now let's get let's get to the to the fishies because that's one that I'm really excited about. We could probably do both of these with the same and then we'll clean out the brushes. 
But I want to grab a piece of, so this is, oh, what color is this? What color is this? This is, oh my goodness, the cat got my tongue. What is the name of this? Lagoon. This is our new Lagoon, well, newish Lagoon paper. It's really, really pretty. Actually, it would go really, really well with the background. Um, so we're going to cut this one down to three and a half. All right, so we'll cut this down to three and a half. Don't you love the aquatic stencils? Hello in the UK. All right, so we'll cut this down to. Hold on. Do I have a piece? I brought a whole bunch of pieces home, and I want to. I want to use a piece that doesn't have a bent corner. There we go. So we'll cut this one to. I do too. I do too, Candy. It's okay if the corner's a little bit bent. It's not going to hurt anything, right? All right, so we'll cut that to three and a half. I should know this. The coral background is separate, right? Yep, it is. Yep. Uh, Kara, a good rule of thumb is anything, if it's in the right bottom right-hand corner, if in the bottom right-hand corner it has a little box with hearts, Oh my goodness, hello, Dee Dee. Oh my goodness, I was, I was, um, hello, hello, hello. I was hoping, hoping that you would be here tonight. I missed you. Um, anything that is in the, if in the bottom right-hand corner, it is, uh, it has a box with, with hearts coming out of it. That means it's part of the inspiration box. You do not need professional help, Michelle. You have crafty goodness, and that is all that matters. <laughs> that is all that matters, right? And I could tell you by looking at the monitor, Michelle, you are definitely in good company. You are definitely in good company with all of our other friends tonight. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to grab some more of the Pixie Spray. Okay, and we're going to pop this down because, again, we're going to create a beautiful background. All right, judge that down there. And this time, I'm just going to put the tape on the two sides. Thank you, Lynn. I love these new stencils. Pop that guy right on there. Okay, and then pop this guy right on here. All right, and now let's get to Zhuzhen. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to use a darker shade because we're gonna pretend that these guys are in the background. So Woof is like a like a gray, almost like a, a grayish tone. At least I think it is. It might not be a grayish tone, but that's what it looks like to me. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the brush. And I'm going to, now remember, you don't have to worry about cross-contaminating if you do a darker color, a lighter color on a darker color. Hey, who thinks the top mermaid on the other mermaid step has to be? Uh, it's true, Dee Dee. It is. I didn't even think about that. That is true. That's funny. That is a hoot. Um, so top myself. Oh, so. These are new, Jerry. These are new. Oh, Kim, my goodness, how much we've missed you. Oh, my goodness, Kim, there are only two spots left for the Create Your Own Ending event. How, what is the turnaround time on that elbow? Heal it up, because we need you there. <laughs> we need you there. All right, so I'm just going to go in with the, with the wolf color. And I want you to notice that I'm just going to do this. Uh, I'm just going to, oh, gray. Oh, okay. Gur equals brown, wolf equals gray. Okay, perfect. Hi, Sue. Right now, there are six. We have six so far. We have six. Oh, it's the beach trip. Oh, no, Kim. I forgot about that. All right. So I'm going to, I'm just, I'm very, very, very lightly. Can you see? I mean, you can barely see it, right? Barely, barely see it. Well, there you go, Mimi. Changed everything. 
Uh, Sydney, for the Create Your Own Ending event, um, I have a feeling that someone will be able to post a link for you in uh, just a second here. And uh, the Create Your Own Ending event is, uh, there's only two spots left, so if anybody wants to come with a friend, now would be the time. Because if someone buys one spot, then there'll only be one spot left and won't be a friend situation anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> It'll be a solo situation, but it's okay. Uh, oh, this would be good. This would be good. For, oh, there's only one spot left. Okay, I lied. Cancel that. One spot left. One spot left. Don't listen to me. Listen to my amazing team. They know a lot more than I do. They know a ton more than I do. <laughs> a lot more than I do. Uh, so one spot left. All right, so as you can see, I just was very, very, very light on that. Oh, I'm sure. We'll definitely we'll do some lives from the event, Kim, too. Okay. So let me clip this one back in here. And let's peel this off and take a look at what these fishies look like. And I don't want to... I don't want... I didn't want to do it too abrasive and too dark. Because I wanted... Um, I wanted for uh, you to be able to kind of, I wanted them to kind of look like they're in the background. Does that make sense? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. Sydney, then come on down. <laughs> come on down, Sydney. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Diddy said, here we go again. Look, I just love this background. And again, if you use the new mermaid stamps that are coming very, very soon, you can put the mermaids on top of here and they, these fish will, you know, look like they're, they're going behind them. You can use, I mean, really, you can use any of the aquatic items and it just, um, it just is going to look so cool. Yep. That's all I used. That's all it took was the, was woof. And it looks almost looks like it's blue, doesn't it, because of the paper? But it's not. Isn't that so cool? I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so now let's move on to Devereaux. So these are the, the two that we've done so far. Oh, yes, that's a good idea, Kara. So there's the two we've done so far. Now let's move on to Devereaux because, I mean, come on. Devereaux. Is just excellent. It's just, I, I'm so excited about it. So we're going to grab a piece of key lime. And I think we're going to use, to give the really cool illusion, we're going to use later gator. But first, before we get into all of this, let's clean our brush. So in order to clean the brush, we are going to grab our brush, obviously. We are going to grab some of the blue. Let me mix a little bit. Blue slush, squeaky clean, because that's the one that I'm... Oh, my goodness. Uh, UK stores. Um, That is a good question. Michael might know the answer to that. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a good idea, Mimi, because you'll probably get free shipping. Okay, so then what I do is I'm going to grab this side. Hold it like so. Actually, we'll hold it like this. And then watch. Oh, it's so perfect. So perfect. Now, I'm going to put it down like this, okay? Okay? And now, remember, this new this new tool has a, um, a suction cup, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and... Um, if we have any suppliers in the UK, I feel like we have one, don't we? One or two. So now I'm going to go in and look. It's so wonderful. Okay. Now, obviously, you could also go in and, you know, hold it and just kind of zhuzh in, zhuzh, 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 get it really clean. And look at all of that color. Look at all that color that's coming off of there. Isn't that incredible? All that color. So we're just going to keep on brushing and zhuzhing and brushing and zhuzhing. And there we go. Bumbleberry paper crafts. That's it. 
Okay, so there we go. So we're going to pop this to the side. Look at all that color that came off of there. Then we're going to grab the brush. And all we're going to do is we're just going to take the Brutus and Row chamois. We're just going to dry it. And look at how beautifully clean that is. Now, remember, this is not ink. That's that's just the brush being damp, okay? So this is the new um, the new squeaky clean. Uh, it's the brush cleaner. You can just run the whole thing underwater if you would like. Um, and I made it uh, because, obviously, this is an ergonomic brush for folks that, uh, you know, need something a little bit easier to hold on to. So I developed this, this guy that will allow you to um, not only hold it. So I created, see the finger grips that I created in there? So basically what you do is your fingers fit perfectly inside of there. See that? And you can go, okay? Or if you have dexterity issues and you can't hold on to it that well, pop it right down onto your table or you can pop it, I mean, wherever you want. And um, now mine has powder on it, but it's not going to go anywhere. So you can brush and clean there. Okay, listen. So it's also, you can hold it in your fingers like this. Or, yes, and even my big crafty man hands fit into it. That was important as well. Uh, but it is super, super easy to hold on to. Super simple to hold on to. Love that about it. But also it... Suction cups. Isn't that cool? Love it. And it gets lefty friendly as well. See, see there? I know. I, saw, I just saw it today, DD. I just saw it today. Okay. So now let's go ahead and yes, you can use it for makeup brushes too. Yep. So let's grab our piece of key lime. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, there's no link down below because of the new way that I stream. Um, I'm sure that um, someone will pop a link up there shortly, Kim. All right, so we're going to cut that down to three and a half by eight and a half. Yeah, it happens all the time, unfortunately, Dee Dee. All the time, my friend. All right, so we're going to grab ourselves some purple tape. That purple tape has seen a better day. I will say that the, the newer purple tape, um, not as reusable. I will say that. That is one thing that I've noticed, is it does not, it's not as sticky, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Probably dip this over and it can come back. Oh, I'm sure you probably could, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that is um well I know that the other company had a demo of it at CHA, which is also where um Pink and Main demoed it for the first time. So it could be it could very well have been already in development. That is very, very true. Very true. All right, so let's grab our um, grab our pixie spray. Oh, hold on, there's a little piece of the. Oh, there we go. All right, that does not compute. That's really funny. Um, it, no, it does not tear paper as much. Not even close. It's not as tacky, I'll tell you that. Now, the only thing is, is it, it gets the job done, but I can tell you that it certainly does not, it certainly does not, um, it's certainly not as reusable as the old one was. Because you, you know, Dee Dee, how we used to try to reuse it as much as we possibly could? It's not as reusable as it, as it used to be. But I mean, it's still, it's great tape. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. Just not, can't uh, reuse it as much as the old one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop that on there, pop that on there. 
And we're going to use later gator because it is a darker green. And we're going to grab the, again, the blending brush. Okay. Apply some of the later gator. I love also that this brush is round, so it all you have to do is turn the brush a little bit, and you're going to evenly coat your brush. It's awesome. Uh, it's going to, oh, I knew, I knew, I knew Carolyn was going to take it to a whole nother level. <laughs> With a whole nother, to a whole nother level. And there we are. <laughs> there, there we are. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going <laughs> we're going to go ahead and, uh, again, this is the later gator. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to apply that color. And you'll notice that the later gator is going to look a lot darker on this paper because it is, because it is, um, the, the paper is already green. So it's really, really cool. <laughs> she said it's maybe small. So it's, uh, it's the, the color of the paper is adding to the color of the ink. So since it's a double grain, it's uh, making the green a little bit darker, which I think is really, 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 really cool and really, really pretty. <laughs> That's so fun. I'm just going to set them up. Dad, she started it. That's funny. Oh, I love it. Listen, I think it, I think it's hilarious. I was waiting for it too. I knew, I knew, I knew it was only a matter of time. Ready to go, eh? Oh, that's so funny. So we're just to get judging, and I love. Uh, the stencils that have more surface area on it, so more stencil like the Mylar here. Because what's really cool about that is uh, you can oh you'll be, you'll get a you'll get a stand up oh yeah exactly you guys have no idea you'll definitely be getting a stand up routine at Creature and Editing event. I can tell you one thing for sure and two things for certain it uh you'll definitely have a good time. <laughs> Oh, what is better in isolation? Sponsor crowd. I mean, I think you just picked your poison, Tanya, really. And I love how much this is saturating, how well this is saturating the paper. Um, our mylar is six millimeter. Six millimeter is the thickness of our mylar. Will you get more kits? Um, the stamp can be ordered separately, Sue. Thank you so much for asking. Um, it's uh, the stamp is called See You Soon. It's right at brucerdo.com. It's under the new category. And I know it's hard to see everything because you are um because you're over on Facebook, but the uh, it's all about personal choice, right? Uh it is uh called See You Soon. And a lot of the other items from the box are available too. It's just not everything is gonna be available from the box because of um that's why we weren't able to make more boxes, because not everything will be available. Um, I don't know that the, oh, the maker will cut that. Yeah, Linda, the maker will definitely cut that. We've actually been thinking about, um, thinking about selling the Mylar separately. So if that's something you guys might be interested in, um, we might do that. We've been thinking about it. Oh, see, this is the old purple tape. The new purple tape will not do that. Yeah, we've actually been thinking about selling the Mylar for a while because we get it, we get like 5,000 sheets at a time. So it wouldn't be a problem at all for us to, to sell that separately. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this one looks like. Uh, Kara, thinking about selling our Mylar not, uh, not cut already. 
Okay. All right, so here we go. It does kind of look like camo, doesn't it? Ready? This is the Devereaux stencil. Oh, that's so beautiful. It almost looks 3D, doesn't it? Um, Tara, there is not a category on the app yet, but it is coming. It is coming very, very soon. Very, very, very soon. Is it that cool? It almost looks 3D. Wouldn't it, Mimi? You're going to have to keep your eye peeled. There might be some... Uh, there might be a um, might be something coming just like that. It does come in the box, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, head over to the website with me because this is all we're going to do stencil wise tonight. Uh, we're going to actually move um, on to. Uh, we will be doing. Um, we'll be doing the other stencils tomorrow night. But I want to show you on my screen real quick how you can tell uh, what comes in the box. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Hopefully you guys can all see it. Um, let me close out of the Brutus Bucks tab. No, it just hasn't um, hasn't been added yet. The, um, the app has been a, a labor of love. <laughs> a labor of love. Um, oh, perfect. Thank you, Penny. So the way that it works is, uh, so first of all, there is a brand new, um, brand new kit, which I love. This kit is actually, um, this kit is from Cassie and, uh, oh, I love this. Hold on. I have to click this real quick. I'm always very interested to see what the best sellers are from the week before. So this is always the best sellers from the week previously. Ooh, hmm. Notch Mamas, of course, again, is on there. <laughs> um, the embossing pen, that's really cool. Uh, the Love You Floral, the Farmhouse Floral Paper Pad, this is very popular. Oh, the Pigment Powders, Clementine. The Rock On Enamel Pen. Oh, there's the little indicator. Do you see that little thing right there? See that? Um, let's see. I could probably approve it. Let me see if it's in limbo. Oh, it looks like it was already approved, so it must have been approved recently. It must have been approved recently. So that is the, um, so see right there, see that little, that little box right there. That means that it was in the inspiration box. Thanks, Dee Dee. I put on my, um, put on my developer hat yesterday, uh, and just finally was like, okay, it's time. We got to fix it. Uh, so this is what it looks like if it was in a box. Oh, wow. I love this. The watermelon wedge is part of it. I haven't, um. Haven't really been paying attention, and that's really cool. Oh, thank you, Penny. That's perfect. Yeah, I just saw it. I just saw it, that, so that's perfect. So uh, that, um, oh, my goodness, there's Heather Collins. Have you been here the whole time? Okay, so this is what the stencils look like that I used tonight. So we have the June 2020 Mixed Media Stencil Release. We have the Slimline Stencil Seaside Collection. Um, these can be purchased with Brutus Bucks. Brutus Bucks. I'm not sure why it hasn't been updated, but you can purchase those with Brutus Bucks. Um, and then, of course, we have the Decorative Detail Grabber Wax Tip Replacement. And we have the Blender Brush Scrubber. Then we also have the new Coral Reef Background Stamp. I can't show you that until next week. Um, the Shell Background Die. The new adhesive-backed felt sheets, which I haven't shown you yet, but I will be showing you soon. Um, the See You Soon 6x8 stamp. Again, you can see that that is a part of... It really does have DD bangs. That is hilarious. You can see that that is a part of the box because it has that on there. 
Um, but I think you see that icon in the website and on the app, right? Yes, the icon is not in the app yet. We're still working to move that, to, to put that on the app. Yep. Uh, but one way that you're going to be able to tell on the app is by the description. So this description will have this picture. So soon you will see the description will have this picture. We're still adding that, still adding that. Right, it does feel like it's been five minutes, right, Maria? It feels like that to me too. So then we have the enamel pin. I showed that tonight. I will show you that enamel pin again before I hop off because it is just so, it's just so good. The enamel pin this month is so, so good. Um, and you can see that this one also, uh, both of these were are also in the box. So yes, yeah, so you're going to be able to start seeing that. There's going to be some other icons that will start popping up as well, uh, which I think is uh, super, super cool. Um, yeah. And of course, all the happy box and stuff. So it's really, really cool. So uh, that's all that I have for you guys tonight. I'm excited because I am going to be... Um, I have uh, lots of fun stuff to show with you tomorrow. I do have, just so you know, and I know I promised to show it tonight, but not carried away with the stencils. Uh, we sure can do this again tomorrow. I have the uh, the embossing powder of the month, the glitter glaze of the month, and the um, aqua pigment of the month. If you want, I can show you that real quick tonight. I'm not going to do, well, maybe I can. Hold on. I'm going to, I have an idea. I am going to go grab it. And I am going to do a, that's the pin that I want to show you. Look at how giant, look at, this is it compared to my watch face. And I have the, the bigger watch. Isn't that cool? It's just, it's really, really big. So I'm going to go, let me go grab those and I'll show you them real quick. I'll show you them real quick, but I also want to, um, I also want to do some glitter glazing real quick with the uh, with this stencil because I want to show you what that's going to look like tomorrow. So let me go grab them. Hold on, stop everything. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't you know? Do you know? Have a conversation. Talk about sweatpants and weird things. Brb. Okay. Sorry about that. I, as I was going and collecting the items, I noticed that Benson was sleeping on the couch waiting for me, and he was belly up snoring. So I had to give him a little, I had to give him a little boop, a little boop on his nose, a little boop ski for my little, my little guy. Um, we will be getting a lot of alcohol inks. Um, Tim Holtz alcohol inks are coming to Brutus Monroe. They are coming to Brutus Monroe. So keep your eye peeled. They are coming to Brutus Monroe. We're doing the three packs. Um, it is new, Christina. So yeah, we're getting, I want to say we're getting 12. I think we're getting 12, um... We're getting 12 packs. All right, so let's talk about the monthly items. So first and foremost, oh my goodness, do I love this color. It's so unique, so cool, so different. Um, and I love the label on it. I'm going to tell you why in just one second. So this is Caribbean blue. And look at how just, it's just the most beautiful. It's just such a, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, but I love the label because I designed it so that it looks like the sun is hitting the Caribbean. See that? I hope you guys get it. So it looks like the sun is hitting Caribbean and then there's a shadow. I don't know. I just love the I just love details like that. So yeah, look how beautiful. It's like the most, it's just so pretty. It's just such a pale, 
beautiful, beautiful blue. So that is the aqua pigment of the month this month. Um, I just absolutely love it. And then we have, let's go to the, let's go to the embossing of the month. So this one is called Barnacle Blue. Also love that label, of course, with the barnacles in the background. Oh, the creamy ones are so pretty. So, so pretty. I love the creamy ones. And this is what Barnacle Blue looks like. So it has all these different beautiful shades of blue glitters. Isn't that just beautiful? Imagine the things that you'll be able to create with that Barnacle Blue. Oh, it's just so pretty. So yeah, so this is the yeah, this is the aqua pigment of the month. This is the embossing powder of the month. So so pretty, so pretty. And then last but certainly not least, and this is one we're going to do use real quick. This is the tentacle teal. Tentacle teal. Look at those crazy tentacles in the background. Tentacle teal. And this is the. Glitter Glaze of the Month. Now, the Glitter Glaze has gone back to the other formulation. And the reason being is we have noticed that in the warmer weather, what has happened is if the... Um, sorry, I take a sip of my drink. If the, um, wa if the weather gets too warm, and if it sits, the uh, new formulation that we have was starting to become... It was separating. So it was starting to become runny. And we made a huge adjustment, and I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars of an adjustment to make sure that that doesn't happen anymore. So we switched back to our old formula, still just as beautiful, just as beautiful. Uh, it's just, it's not, um, you just don't see the, uh, you just don't see the, um, as much of the glitter until it dries, okay? So that's the only difference. That's the only thing. But we wanted to make sure that it stayed true uh, for you because it was, like I said, we were running into some issues with it changing when it was when it got too warm. It was either too warm or too cold. If it got too cold or too warm, it was the same same thing either way. I heard her. She's she's getting herself right into. Getting herself all wound up again. <laughs> she might get a time out at the event. Time out at the event. She's. I'm. Su I'm surprised that Heather hasn't given her three strikes already. Although Heather wasn't here earlier. Heather wasn't here earlier. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, that was. It was a hard change to make because we actually already had quite a few months of glitter glaze ready, and um. I decided, nope, we need to pull it because we don't want to, we don't want to have those issues. All right, so I'm going to go in with the purple tape. And, yeah, Heather wasn't here for that comment. You do need to start, you need to start giving strikes soon. I know, when it dries, that's what, that's the best part. All right, so I'm, can you purchase the glaze and boss powder without subscribing? You cannot. Uh, you do have to subscribe. Sometimes we do have some left. It's not often, but sometimes we do have some left at the end uh, of the month. Again, like I said, it's not too, too often that we will have extra, but if we do, it always goes right on to BrutusRenault.com. Oh, my goodness, and I love how smooth it glides on there. And with the Glitter Glaze, it's best to have a um a lighter coat Yeah, always look on the website. Um, it will obviously be after that month has passed. But yeah, go on the website and take a look after after the month and see if there's anything left. That's the best way. 
All right, so I'm just going to clean off my palette knife real quick. Hi, Simon. I didn't even see Simon sneak in. We were using your inks again, Simon. I know you're surprised. All right, so let's go ahead and take some of the... Oh, my goodness. Take some of the Blue Slush Squeaky Clean. We're going to clean off our palette knife here. Good as new. Actually, this is probably cleaner than it was beforehand. All right, and let's go ahead and peel this off, and we'll take a look at it. And remind me tomorrow, because we're most likely we're going to use this tomorrow in our project, and I'll show you what it looks like. Why did the... Uh, the it changed in the first place because a lot of folks were asking... Uh, to be able to see what it's going to look like before it dries. So that's why we switched it over. Um, it did nothing to the formula. It didn't change anything with the formula. It literally just just was uh, for the purpose of you being able to see what it looked like before it actually dried. Um, but it was just we just used a clear gloss instead. But the clear gloss um, does uh, does not react well to temperature change. It does not like temperature change. It does not like, um, it does not like super heat, and it does not like super, um, super cold. Stank. Wait a second. Is my thirty-five showing? I don't know what that means. Terry, you should go. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad Heather said it too. Oh, stank is the new compliment. I feel like stank. I feel like that's something that I back in the day didn't use as a compliment. <laughs> I think I don't think that um I don't know that I used that as a, a back in the day. <laughs> right, Michelle, that's what I said. I don't think I described anything as stank back in the day that was like a that was a good thing. <laughs> oh, it was a joke. Oh my goodness, Simon. I so the the things are going past so fast, so so fast that I stink. Oh, stink. I can't. <laughs> That's well, we're gonna start saying stank from here on out. That's good. All right. So this is what it looks like. You can already kind of see the glitter. Um, but once it dries, you will really be able to see this glitter and I can't wait to show it to you tomorrow. Oh, stamp. Oh, that's funny. Um, yes. So that's not going to happen anymore. Uh, it's because of the, uh, it will still work. You just have to mix it. You just have to mix it really well. Uh, but we, uh, I have a rotting group every night. Stink, stank, stunk. Um, I have... I have a rowdy group every night. I wouldn't want it to not be, I wouldn't want it to be um, not rowdy. I mean, how boring. <laughs> how boring would that be? Um, so, of course, uh, as you know, or if you don't know, see how it's um, how it's a little bit weebly wobbly? That's just because this will, um, this will, it'll start to flatten itself out. So how have you all been using? Uh, the really light embossing powders, Tanya, I use them um, actually as like a glaze over top of things uh, because they have a base. So uh, I, I can actually show you. Let me show you here real quick. I will show you how I use the light colored ones. So let's use, um, let's just use Bermuda Blue, shall we? So I will show you here. Oh no, I might not be able. Hmm. Well, let's see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, actually, I'm not gonna be able to because I used, we'll do it tomorrow. Um, but I'll show you how I would do it. And the only reason I can't, well, I guess I can try. I could try. And if it, if we have issues, we have issues. 
Um, the reason I'm saying that it might not work is because I, and I have to clean this guy off real quick. When you use pixie spray, so if you use pixie spray, um, what can happen, and I'm going to quick, I'm going to dry this real quick. The pixie spray does give you some issues with embossing because of how warm, um, because of how warm, not how warm, how sticky it is. What is what, Heather Collins? Were you, did you take a nap? Perfect, Kim. That is that is an excellent way. I'll use it like on top of die cuts. Dee Dee, did someone put in timeout? Did someone put Dee Dee in timeout? I did. Is she in timeout? Oh no. All right, so we're going to clean this guy off real quick. Thank you, Simon. It's one of our um, one of our new um, slimline stencils. Oh, she couldn't comment. She said, welcome to Brutus the Grow. All right, so we're going to go ahead and spritz, spritz, spritz. Whoopsies. Oh my goodness, I hate it when I accidentally spray it on my arm. I hate that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and, whoopsies. We're going to go ahead and just zhuzh this off real quick. Flip it over. Just clean it off. Just kind of, just kind of. I have Christina, and I'll, and I'll demonstrate it. Um, I can demonstrate it again. That's what he said. What happened? Oh no, what happened? Oh, the steak, yeah. All right, so it's still a little, it's still got a little bit of sticky on it. So we're gonna, hold on. Oh, that's working. Okay, hold on. Let's use a little bit more, a little bit more squeaky clean. Whoopsies. Yeah, my cousin, no, my, it's my, yeah. It's my cousin Pearl. No, it's my cousin Opal, and her mother's name is Pearl. Her mother's name is Pearl. Opal is my cousin. Pearl is her mother. And is can can Dee Dee comment yet again? I'm distress foiling right now. Oh. Are you using any Brutus Monroe foil? I'll forgive you this time if you're not. I will forgive you. Um, oh, yes. Dee Dee, what, what did we say, my cousin? What did we say? Um, what did we say my Aunt Pearl is? What did we say? She's shifty. <laughs> I think we said she's shifty, didn't we? I've never laughed so hard in my life when than when Dee Dee said that. She said she's shifty. I'm not. Oh, cousin Opal. Yeah, Opal. She's shifty, isn't she? Shifty. Okay, that's okay, Ryan. Like I said, you are forgiven this time. Especially after you called me out last night. Don't think I forgot. Don't you think for one second. All right, so this should be clean enough. I really should be running it underwater. It's still a little bit sticky, but you guys, I hope, will get the idea. Actually, what we'll do is we'll actually emboss it while it's still on here. Let's do that. That's what we'll do. We'll try that out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we tried, right? We tried. All right. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to show you how you can do a, a layer on top of this. So the really, um, just do what? It will be backwards if I use it upside down, my friend. Oh, I can see your comment now, Belinda. It's just because there's so many, it's just because there are so many um, comments coming through. That's why. 
Yeah, we can see you. I'm trying to look to see if there's any. Okay. See if there's any comments that I was missing. So, um, if uh, in a process that we've we haven't really done it in a while. Oh, thank you, Penny. We haven't done it in a while, but there's a spot process that you can do um, when you're designing papers and things like that. And that spot process um, is actually called like a gloss process. Um, a gloss process, or it's like a sp UV spotting is what they call it. And we're going to kind of do that UV spotting on here. I'm going to show you how I would use a lighter blue or a lighter embossing powder like this one. So I'll show you what that means. So we're gonna grab our embossing ink and we're gonna grab this blending tool that we don't really use anymore. So, I mean, we don't, she doesn't go here, uh, but we're gonna use it for this um, application. So I'm grabbing some embossing ink. Oh, the embossing ink, the detail ink, and the, you guys will be happy to know, it all shipped. It all shipped. I'm so excited about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and add our embossing ink all throughout here. And I just haven't been using these blending brushes just because they, the, um, oh, I love it, Carolyn. Uh, just because we've, we've been upgraded. <laughs> and I used to love these, but they just don't give me the, the blend that this guy does. But I love using it for like embossing. I'll use this for embossing, and I also use this. I use this for embossing, and I for using for embossing ink, and I also use it when I'm using the alabaster ink. I still grab for these. Oh, thank you, Laurie. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in and add the embossing ink. Now you're gonna see that there's gonna be a whole lot of mess. That's because it's just the way it's gonna be for this one. So it's not, all the mess will go away once we lift it off and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I think we got enough there. I think we got enough there, okay. Yeah, I used to, uh, believe me, I used to love these. I use these for uh, for everything, but this brush, whew, just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's grab some of the Barnacle Blue embossing powder. We're just going to sprinkle that right on top. And again, you're going to see that this is going to get all over the stencil. It's no big deal. No big deal. It's going to get all over the stencil because the stencil All right. So let me pull a little bit more on there. We're just going to kind of lift it directly up. Let me grab another piece of scrap paper here. All right. We're just gonna tap all of that off of there. Now we are gonna get some underneath, but that's just because of the spray, but we should be fine. Okay. Let me put this guy to the side real quick. Lift this off of here. Try to be as cleanly as we can. Again, because I used the um because I use the pixie spray, we're going to have some sticking, but that's okay. Listen, I can't wait until Ryan does his first live video and he can't find a marker. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be at that very first, that very first live video. And when he can't find a spatula... And he can't find that spatula. I'm coming. I'm going to be there. Day one, live one. <laughs> I'll be there. Front row. I'm gonna, I already bought my tickets. Front row. 
<laughs> it would be an honor if I came and said where. We all, we all will be. Listen. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and heat up the embossing powder, and you're going to see a really cool change here in a second. See how that's changing? Um, Ryan, you, you become very good at it over time. I do a lot of it during the day to get it out of my system. <laughs> I get a lot of it out of my system during the day. <laughs> ask, uh, ask my staff. <laughs> it's, um, it, it's, it took some time, but I get it all out of my system during the day. I know, Ryan does need to come to the pre turning event. I said that too. So this actually worked out perfectly because now I can show you. There's one spot left, Ryan. Sorry, I had to blow off this uh, stolen paint gun. <laughs> it used to say Dries on it, but I guess that wore off. Um, so there you go. So you can see there is glitter inside of all of those fishies now. I'm hoping you can see that. And of course, we got a little bit up here, but that's okay. That's just because of the way it is. But do you see all of that glitter? So now we use the stencil. Thank you, Ryan. So now we use the stencil, and it's basically like UV spot uh, treatment on here. Uh, and it just it's so simple and so easy. But that just it just adds something so cool to the background. Isn't that I just think it's so cool. Um, the devil's gun is still here. I haven't used it in a while just because it gets so hot um, that I haven't used it in a while. Don't worry, I'll use it again, but it just gets so hot. That's so funny, the devil's gun. I'm so I'm so glad you remembered that. Yes, Ryan does need to come, and he needs to bring rainbow cupcakes. I mean, I don't think that's too much to ask, do you? I don't think it's too much to ask. Uh, there is a link for the creature ending event. Um, I'm sure someone will pop it up there for you. Uh, that is my other heat gun. I call it the devil's gun because it is it gets so hot that it'll singe off your eyebrows from across the county. Um, it's It gets hot. I mean, really hot. So, yeah, so that's what that looks like. So what we've done so far tonight. Oops, I got that sense on there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, so what we did tonight is we used the Devereaux. We used the Devereaux stencil for this one. So that's the Devereaux stencil. We used the um, Upstream for this one. Just so, so pretty. Look at all that glitter. Oh, my goodness. All right, Ryan, I'll take one dozen, and I'll... I'll, um, whatever they are, charge me double and we can and donate it to the Out Alliance of Rochester. So there is that. And then we have, it will certainly be known as that, Tanya. Then we have the sea skin stencil, which is this one. I'll stop in to Ryan's and pick us up some of the best. Well, Dee Dee, you could probably just pick him up and bring him. <laughs> Since he's in Rochester, New York, you could just swing a ride, um, swing a ride with uh, with Dee Dee Ryan. You'll love her, I promise. I'll tell you right now. If there's anybody that I would want to ride to the Creator Training event with, it would be Dee Dee. You will adore her. <laughs> you will adore her. Okay, and then also we use the stencil. You can see it's already starting to dry. So do you see some of that glitter? Well, it's going to be really pretty. It's going to be really, really pretty. Oh, I'll show you in one second. I'll show you the cleaner, the brush cleaner. So, so, so pretty. And I can't wait to show it to you. You can kind of see this one is all, oh, look at all that glitter. <sighs> okay, well, I'll show you that tomorrow. 
Um, so now this is because we sent a link. Um, Penny, there you go, Penny. Just posted it. There's only one spot left, right, Michael? I think it's one, not two. Just one spot left. I thought I saw two today, but I guess there's only one spot left. Um, so the way that you use it is you um, take this guy. So I developed it so that it would be ergonomic. So there is a um, – so you can see right there on the back, your fingers fit right in here, okay? And then when you're cleaning your brush – actually, this brush – this brush doesn't need cleaned. I clean it. But when you clean the brush – does this brush need cleaned? It does need cleaned, huh? So we'll clean this brush. Hold on. Hold one moment, please. Uh, come on down, Anne. Some things that made me blush. <laughs> Maria, it's I haven't I have not blushed in this group um since 1992. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce Row hasn't even it was only opened in 2014. So which squeaky clean scent will we use? I can't wait till you see the squeaky clean scent. I have an exclusive scent for you guys just for the creator on ending event. Just for that creator on ending event. So I think you will uh I think you're really gonna love it. All right, so what we're gonna do is let's clean this guy off. So I'm gonna use, let's use the beach. Beach Air. Oh, oops. My goodness, I accidentally sprayed it on my arm again. So I'll do like four spritzes there. A couple of spritzes on that guy. And then we'll go ahead and grab this guy. And then all we do is we just see how much ink is already. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it there. So if you could hold on to it, you hold on to it like that. See how much ink is coming off of there? If not, you just pop it right there. And it will stick to the table or, you know, to any non-porous surface because it is a suction cup as well. Uh, we do have rectangle ATCs. Yep. Uh, there, there's the regular ATCs. All right, see how much ink just came off of there? Because it really, really scrubs it really, really well. Okay. Then, we'll clean off my desk as well. All you do is, since this is silicone, nothing is going to stick to it. There's not going to be any ink that sticks to it. There you go. That's all clean now. Uh, they're not my blending brushes. These are Pink and Main. Nope. I um I will just be selling Pink and Mains. I'm not going to. I won't be doing any brushes like these. I like to find the best of the best, and then I sell theirs because it's much easier. <laughs> um, no, this is it. This is that. This is hers. See? Um, yep, this is hers. So um, I know that Altenew just came out with one, too. Um, so that is uh, – so they, they'll have theirs, too. I just um, – I really love, I mean, I'm assuming the bristles are kind of similar. I don't know what the price point is on theirs, but we will always carry the pink and main because that's the original. Even if, um, even if they started developing it, you know, I probably, if it was me, I probably would have paused the development. Um, but that's just me because it just doesn't make, uh, it just doesn't make sense to, um, doesn't make sense to try to, uh, to try to compete in the market with something like that. But I mean, that's just me. That's just me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so that is the, the pink and main brush. All right, so that's everything that I have for uh, for you guys. You can see, look how the glitter's starting to see how the glitter is starting to come through. I can't wait for this to dry. Oh, my goodness. I know, it happens to us. It happens to me all the time, and I own the company. <laughs> okay, so that means I have two minutes. All right, so I am going to head off now. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for being a part of my life. You guys know I love you, love you, love you to pieces. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember to create something every single day, whether that is a beautiful underwater creation like I did tonight or your own ending. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. I have lots of fun things up my sleeves uh, for then as well. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. and. Um, 
I can't wait to see you guys soon. Good night, my friends.